Today we're going to dive into two ways for you to color grade fast in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. Okay, let's just dive right into the why. First of all, color is important. Even if you don't do a full grade, you should at least be color correcting your footage. I did a video about the difference between color correction and color grading a while back. I'll go ahead and leave that link below. The problem is once you get to the color correction and grading process, you've already cut up your source clips and scattered them throughout the timeline. Now, you could go through and grade each clip one by one, but that can take a while, especially if you have a large project. Luckily, DaVinci Resolve has a couple of ways to speed up the color correction and color grading process, and we're going to jump into both of them today. But before we do that, I just want to give a huge shout out to my channel members. All of the people listed here have unlocked some awesome perks like a private Facebook group, live editing training, discounts on merch, and more. Unlocking these perks costs only $4 a month, so go ahead and click that join button below, the link in the description, or the card above, and become a a channel member today. Okay, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. So I have a new project open in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at how to use a master timeline. All you have to do is open your project settings, go into general options, uncheck use local version for new clips and timeline, and check automatically match master timeline with media pool, and click save. Now let's go ahead and bring some footage into the project. And if we open our master timeline, you'll see that all of the footage I brought into the project has been added to it. Now this timeline is locked, so I can't trim it or move it around, but I can color grade it. So let's go to the color page. Choose one of the clips and let's just add a drastic grade to one of these clips. Now let's go ahead and add a new timeline, add the clip we graded to it, and you'll see that the clip is already graded. And if I cut up that footage, every clip that came from that source clip will have that same grade. Basically what using a master timeline does is allow you to grade the source clip instead of the clips in your timeline. So when you do add a clip to your main editing timeline, the color grade is already there. Now one thing about this method is that it it has to be set up before you bring footage into the project. If you bring the footage in first, the option to match the master timeline with the media pool will be grayed out. Don't ask me why, I hope they change it in a future update, but for now, that's the way it is. Moving on. So let's say you did bring your footage in first and you went ahead and cut all your footage. Now you're ready to color grade and you realize you forgot to make a master timeline. Don't worry, there's still a way to save time color grading. Let's look at how to use groups. So we're back in DaVinci Resolve and this time I have an old project of mine open. Now I didn't create a master timeline for this and all the footage is ungraded. And as you can see, I've got clips from my camera scattered throughout the video. Now, all of these clips are going to get the same grade since they are all shot in the same location with the same camera. So let's go to the color page. And what I'm going to do is select all of the clips from that camera, right click, select add into new group, give the group a name and click OK. Now let's select one of the clips. Now at the top of the node section, you'll see four dots. If you click on this first dot, you'll be in group pre-clip. So all of the corrections done here will be done to all of the clips in the group, but before any corrections to the actual clip itself. Usually the only thing I do here is a color space transform. So let's go ahead and change this over to C-Log3 really quick. And if you click on any of the other clips in this group, you'll see that they all have that same color space transform on them. The next dot at the top will bring you to clip corrections. So if there are any clips in your group that needs specific corrections, you can do that here. We don't need to do that in this case, so let's move on to the next dot, which is group post clip. All of the corrections done here will be applied to the entire group after any corrections you've done to the individual clips. This is where I do most of my corrections, but for now, let's just do something drastic as an example. And once again, you'll see that the grade has been applied to the entire group. The last dot at the top is timeline, and that's where you'll put any corrections that should be applied to your entire timeline. I rarely go into that, so we won't worry about it now. Now, if you want to make either of these processes even faster, you can use LUTs or power grades to get the look you're going for. To learn more about that, click here, and for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.